How much money can I make finding gold in six hours? Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I am back at the river where I find most of my gold, and today I want to see how much money I can make in six hours of hunting. Without wasting any more time, let's go. I'm hunting underwater today because I usually have good luck, so let's begin. The first thing I did was look for bedrock. If you haven't seen these videos before, the gold will usually be sitting in cracks along the bedrock because it's a very heavy metal. What I'm doing here is removing some of the overburden to get to what I think is untouched bedrock. And if you can guess, any bedrock that hasn't been disturbed before has a greater chance to be hiding some beautiful gold. Just like that. Two little gold nuggets. A couple nice pieces of gold sitting right there. Now to suck them up, I'm using what's called a snuffer bottle. At least we're not going home broke. Now that we know there is gold dropping here, I'm going to open a bit of this up and see if there's anything else. This crevice opened up way deeper than I thought it would. But working my way down, I managed to suck up a few more pieces of gold. But also, I noticed if you play this clip backwards, it looks like an Egyptian dance. Finding gold underwater, also known as sniping, is pretty easy once you understand how gold deposits in a river. If you want to learn how you can snipe for gold, check out my how to snipe video here or the link in the description. In the area that I'm in, there are a lot of little cracks that are easily missed, so it's important you check all of them to make sure you don't miss any free candy. Like this little guy. It's gonna be hard to spot some of these pieces on camera, but in person, it's very easy to spot gold because of how bright it is, and because when looking through a mask, everything will look bigger underwater. I'm finding a lot of gold at this spot. Before moving to the next area, I thought I'd scratch just a little more, just in case. And I'm glad I did. Ooh. We found our biggest piece of the day so far. I noticed over 80% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Polly. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Having a quick break right now. What an awesome day. It's been raining like hard lately and the water's been really high, but right now the water is in between. It's not high or it's not low. It's just perfect for sniping. There's not a hard current either, which is nice. The last time I was in this area, the bedrock wasn't exposed right here. So all these crevices that I'm finding are brand new, which means they've never been worked before and it's why I'm finding good gold. If I plan to find as much money, uh, well, gold as I can, I'm gonna have to start really paying attention to the little hiding spots gold can get stuck into. These little cracks are perfect, but it's really hard to show you what I'm looking at, especially with how the sun is reflecting on this bedrock. There's so much gold here, I love it! I really wish I was seeing some bigger gold to show you, but I'm doing my best here and it's all gonna add up. I made my way to another spot that's a bit deeper. The trouble here is that since I'm not wearing dive weights, it's very hard to stay under the surface. And a thumbs up always means gold. This method was working for a little while, but I got sick of bouncing up and down, so I used the stick that was wedged to hold me under.
Well, it works great, but I can't hold my breath forever. I did a few more attempts at this, then decided to break the stick and just stare off into the abyss. La 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 la. Oh. Time to get back to work. Well, this has never happened before. I grabbed my snuffer bottle and the straw is missing. I looked around for it, but I, I can't find it. Luckily, I don't think I dropped gold out of it, but uh, I guess I'll never know. All right, about 20 minutes later, we fixed our problem. I went up to the truck and took off some vacuum hose uh, so I could uh, improvise a straw. So if I lose this straw, I'm stuck out here. <laughs> a big part of being a small scale miner is having the ability to improvise solutions. Nothing is gonna stop me today. I found this really nice looking crevice that had packed material in it. After I opened it up, I just took my time to make sure I didn't miss anything. I did find some ironstone, which is a good sign that heavy things are dropping here. Now to see if my creation worked. <laughs> All right, just having a quick little break here. Whoa. <laughs> this face jacket looks ridiculous. It looks like there's white hairs on camera, but it's not. It's just blonde hairs. So I'll show you what we found so far. But before I do, I just want to show you something. A bird has left us some ice cream. Anytime a bird uh, drops something for you, it's good luck. So this is what we're finding so far. Not too bad. Lots of nice little flakes in here. I'd take these all day long. In our last sniping video, we found three nice nuggets, but so far, we're not hitting the bigger nuggets. That doesn't mean we won't find the bigger nuggets. I can either go upstream still, go downstream, maybe climb a couple trees. We have half the day left, so let's get back to it. I'm gonna continue using my spare bottle because it sucks better. I removed this one piece of fractured bedrock and found a nice little flake of gold sitting underneath it. Spent more time removing more of that bedrock, but didn't find anything else. Most of the time I spend looking for gold is spent moving gravel out of the way. The best way to combat this is to just work around the bedrock or use a dredge. But in the area I'm in, it requires an expensive permit and a bunch of prerequisites most people have trouble meeting. So I'll just move the gravel by hand. I spent our fourth hour breaking bedrock and grabbing the little pieces I was able to see. I was surprised to see how much gold was hiding in the bedrock, including this nice thicker nuggety bit. The gold gods are blessing me today! I just found a piece of gold that's literally stuck in the crevice. So time flies when you're finding gold, and it especially flies if it has wings or there's a piece of gold that's nearly impossible to get out. No, I don't have to do it. Look at that. My time is running out, so instead of wasting more time by running around, I'm gonna stay put and take my time. <sighs> this ended up not being the most productive choice, so before you knew it, my time had run out. Okay, hokey pokey, I'm calling it a day. It was a successful day as we came here to find some gold and we found nothing but gold. I did find a little bit of water, but um, I didn't take it. I did find this handle. If anybody knows what this came off of, let me know in the comments. Now that we have some candy in two separate snuffer bottles, let's go back to the house and see how much we, bleh, see how much we got. So here's the loot for six hours sniping for gold. Not tea bag. I'm glad I don't do this for a living. Well, 
I, I kind of do actually. A bunch of these pieces are gray because I sucked up a bit of mercury which attaches itself to the gold. And under the microscope, you can see a bit of that right here. And this piece, which has a bit more. And this piece, which is almost fully coated in mercury. Also, this piece just looks cool because it's oxidizing. Now let's weigh everything and see what we made. So I quickly burned that mercury off safely so we could get more of an accurate weight. Okay, let's start with our flat piece. Now this piece was actually a little bit bigger before I broke it trying to get it out. I'm gonna guess 10 ounces. 10 ounces, 0.19 grams. And now let's just do the rest. What are your guesses? I'm gonna say three grams. Let's see. Ho ho, 3.04 grams. So I was pretty darn close. So three grams of gold is roughly two to $300, especially if you calculate the fact that these are bigger pieces, not fine gold, which all online calculators use. So let's say $300, divide that by six, $50 an hour for six hours. That's not bad at all. I'd say it's worth it. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna like these ones even more. 